back to United Kids. My name is Natalie and it is fantastic to see you. I'm feeling really summery today. I don't know about you, but the hot weather has got me in a good mood. Now, I know a lot of you liked Piper from last week, so I'm hoping that Piper is going to become a bit of a regular on our show if I can convince her to sit still. Maybe I'll have to have some dog treats in my pocket. I don't know. Anyway, so we've been learning about Moses recently. And last time, Moses went to Pharaoh uh, to go and speak to him and this, remember the staff became a snake and then the snake became a staff again we're going to find out what happens next it's going to be a lot of fun and it is a great story we've got lots more music and crafts I hope you're ready for lots of fun Hi, it's great to be with you and if you're able to stand up why don't you stand up wherever you are and join in with our actions and the first action is going to be creating this globe with our hands. Are you ready? He's got the whole world. next for Moses and you can read along with me so because Pharaoh didn't let his people go the Lord sent a series of plagues upon the Egyptians each more terrible than the last first he changed the waters of the Nile into blood so all the fish died and the air stank ew he sent a plague of frogs to cover the countryside and fill the houses ew next the very dust on the ground was turned to gnats and it Everything was covered with them. Ew. And after there came a swarm of flies, so many that the air was black with them. Ew. A pl- uh, he sent a plague among the livestock of the land, but spared the animals belonging to the Hebrews. Then the, G- the Egyptians were afflicted with horrible boils. Ugh. Then next God sent a terrible hailstorm, which stripped the land. Then these plants that had managed to survive were consumed by a swarm of locusts. Ew! Nothing green remained on tree or plant in all the land of Egypt. After this, God sent total darkness to cover Egypt for three days. 
Each time Pharaoh pretended that he would not relent. Yet again, uh, yet sorry, yet each time once the plague was lifted, he refused to let the Hebrews go. The Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart to teach him a lesson, to show God's true power and to make sure the story was told throughout the world. But now the time had come for the final plague. Moses warned Pharaoh that God would pass through the country at midnight and every firstborn son in the land would die, from the son of Pharaoh himself to the son of the lowest slave girl, and even the firstborn of all the animals as well. But Pharaoh would not listen. Moses told the Israelites what God wanted them to do to be spared. Each household was to kill a lamb and smear some of the blood on the door frame and eat the meat in a special way. That night God passed through Egypt and the next day the land was filled with the sound of mourning for all the firstborn sons had died, even the son of the mighty Pharaoh. But the Hebrews were spared. Now the Egyptians could get rid of the he- now the Egyptians couldn't get rid of the Hebrews quick enough. And so the Hebrews prepared to leave Egypt. So Pharaoh wouldn't let them go. So God sent lots of challenges, lots of plagues. And in the end, Pharaoh said, you go, go, I don't want any more plagues to happen. But the story isn't quite as simple as that, and we'll find out why next week. So I'm in my garden with Piper. <laughs> She's just dotted in there. Um, and you can see all the flowers are starting to come through. And uh, that's going to be happening very soon at church too, over the next couple of weeks. We are going to be creating um, a rainbow of flowers for Pride Month um, to celebrate with our friends. So we're going to have a little flower activity now and um, get your stuff and you can join in with me. Or you can get involved by planting flowers at the church. Let me know if you want to. Now this weekend at Trinity we are going to be creating a rainbow out of flowers to celebrate Pride Month. And I'm going to have a go at creating mine. I'm going to make a rainbow and I'm going to add flowers to it. Um, you can watch and join in. I lift my voice to praise you. I lift my voice to praise you. My concrete heart won't stop me. My concrete heart won't stop me. I sing like it's the first time. Ta-da! What do you think? Here is my pride rainbow of flowers. Um, I've tried to put lots of different flowers in. I've tried to put tulips and poppies and sunflowers and roses and all sorts. Uh, daisies. Maybe you could have a go and uh, send me a picture. That would be awesome. And hopefully in the next video or the week after I will show you what the outside of the church looks like after you've done all your planting. I'm now going to pray, and if you agree with me, you can say Amen, which basically means I agree with that prayer and I want to pray it to God. Are you ready? Dear God, thank you for the sunshine, thank you for the rain and the rainbows, thank you for all of our friends, no matter what they are or who they are, what what they like and what they don't like, you made each one of us unique, special, and loved. God, would you help us to be good friends? Would you help us to be good helpers? Helping those that are in need, that need your love, that need food, that need shelter, that need health. God, would you help us to be the best versions of ourselves that we could be, to love you and to serve you every day. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you had fun this morning. I certainly did. And I can't wait to see you next week. God bless. Bye.